Okay, we're booting up Parallels here with the freshly installed copy of Midnight BSD. We have booted this once to test it um, prior to this load, so I'm just going to let that come up here. Now the first two steps you might want to do after installing Midnight BSD are to download the imports collection so that you can install software and download the source code and update the system to the latest version. I'm going to briefly demonstrate how to do that. Okay, first you can log in as root here. And we're now logged into the system. Um, as you can see I did a uname minus A. I'll get closer here so you can see this is the March snapshot of Midnight BSD. And we're going to go to the user directory now. So cd slash usr. And we're going to check out the imports collection. So we're going to do cvs space minus d space non cvs at stargazer.midnightbsd.org. So we're going to check out the imports module. Oopsie, I forgot to put the path. Now the password for non-CVS is also a non-CVS and the first time that you run this command you'll get a prompt to accept a key, just type yes and enter. And now we're checking out the imports collection. This process might be a lot slower um, from other locations. We're actually right near the server here on the gigabit network so it's pretty quick. Midnight BSD currently has over a thousand ports. Um, I believe it's actually closer to 1300. So, not nearly the 16,000 that FreeBSD has, but we've got a good start going. We have a lot of databases uh, Apache 2.2, uh, MySQL, Postgres, GNU step ports. You can use Midnight BSD for website development or a little bit of gaming general purpose desktop. Um, several of our ports were under development right now. Um, we're currently working on trying to get CMonkey and Firefox to work natively. You can install the Linux versions of both of those ports. Um, CMonkey you can currently build as a browser only. The mail and news and most of the other features don't compile correctly yet. So we usually recommend that uh, users start by installing X11 and Slim and GNU Step and then any other applications that they might want. Eventually this process will be automated and will include imports and everything uh, on the CD. We're already in the security category so it should be pretty quick now. You should periodically update your, your ports collection because we're already adding new versions and changing things. It's just about done. I'm going to demonstrate um, going, I'm holding Alt and hitting F2. We're going to another terminal and I'm going to log in as our test user that we created during our install. And you can see that we logged in successfully. Now this user is not able to um, su to root 
because we haven't added them to the wheel group. So it's just a regular user and they can't do anything special or damage the system in any severe way. Um, as you can see now we switched back and mports is done checking out so we're going to check out the source collection. We're going to do that. Typing the non CVS password again and it'll start checking out the source code for the latest version of Midnight BSD um, which is 0 0.2 current. Um, you may want to stick on the 0 0.1 branch if you don't want to try anything real experimental but uh, the ports collection is actually working better currently in uh, current so that's what I tend to use for development so we're just going to log out now on this other terminal and log in as root We're going to go into imports. Now we call it imports because initially when we were testing we had a user ports directory like FreeBSD but we decided to try some experimental things with ports and start over and we ended up calling it imports. So it just kind of stuck. Um, so as you can see we have a, a number of categories in here. Um, we do have some German 